Kyle probably had no intentions on making this video, but I actually twisted his arm here. I had a subscriber recently reached out that was looking to purchase a Prevo, kind of similar to this one here. Thought this would be a cool bus that kind of fits the needs. A little background here, Kyle. The guy that's looking for a bus, he's got several children. He does maintenance on airplanes for a living, so he's mechanically inclined. I thought for someone that has a family with a lot of children, an entertainer coach, either a star coach or like a six bunk coach, may be a good floor plan for this particular family. So I asked Kyle, do you have anything that kind of fits the bill? And you want to tell us a little bit what's behind us here, bud? Yeah, this is our six bunk studio coach and it's built for uh, artists to be out on the road. Oh, this has the old style um, studs on it. So we're gonna update it and put 365's brand new rims. We got them in the shop. We just need to get the coach in there and get it up on the lift and, oh, not up on the lift, but get the wheels off of it and put all the new nuts and studs on the entire coach. So they can, uh, well, I guess we'll go in a sec. Yeah, so we can go on side. We can go inside. While they're on the road, they can- uh, Kyle's phone's been ringing yeah. all day. He's taking time here for us here. So, so. Sorry, so they can record on the road and we built this bus that way. It used to be a 12 bunker and then we pulled out six bunks out of it and built a whole recording studio in the back of the coach. So you recently redid the floors, all the upholstery. Yeah. What's new in this coach? Uh, floors, upholstery, uh, it's got a new kitchen sink here. The fridge is new, um, all the electronics have been updated, the LED lighting's all been updated in the ceiling and in, in the um, in the windows here. Oh yeah. You wanna open those up? Closet. Closet there. Yeah. Now who originally did this conversion? Uh, this was a senator's coach. Bruce, a good friend of mine over at Vulcan, um, built this. For senator's coach, okay. For senator's coach, yeah. That new sink, so yeah, new electronics. You said, mm -hmm. oh, and here, this. So basically, this uh, had 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 a counter that went all the way across here. Actually, you know what? There was a seat here, so there was a secondary center right here, and then we ended up moving. And the fridge was right here, so we moved the fridge from here, put it over here, put a full size instead of just a shorty, I believe, if I remember correctly. And oh no, there was a full size, but it was like a 12 volt non. It was like an RV fridge. So then we pulled it from this section, moved it over there, um, built this little cubby here to little shelves kind of to put some stuff on, right? And then we built a whole shower in here, in this coach. And uh, it's actually got a funny story. We can, we can ask one of my drivers. He, oh, said, he said, I built this shower in one day and literally this was done in one day. Wow. Yeah. Because we had a tour going on that needed a, that needed a, uh, there you go. Cool. So a um, lucky penny, right? You always have to have a lucky penny on a bus. Cool little area, sitting area there, more storage here. Kind of a different floor plan. Yeah. And then six bunks. Yeah. How big, how how tall are these bu bunks? Or I can, are they I can recessed? Finish. I'd crawl in, but I've been rolling around yeah. in the dirt all day. No long. worries. Yeah. So what is it about six, you, you know? I think they're about six, eight, maybe. Six, eight. Okay. Yeah. So cool. So you've got three bunks on each side and He's got all kinds of bedding and stuff stored in these, but um, definitely cool. Now this coach is a studio coach? Yeah, recording studio. So right now it's kind of set up back here as, as a recording studio, but you've got some, some other ideas, like what could you guys do to quickly convert this? Oh, and I've done it and I'll send you the photo to add on the video, but basically what we do is we have a bed kit that places right here. So these cushions come out and go in the closet and then a bed kit goes here with a queen bed. So this is a whole back bedroom basically, um, which is kind of cool because even if you're not in the recording um, industry, we, we could build drawers here. We could have a desk here. You know, anything can be converted pretty much. Yeah, this is cool. Like all of this long counter space here Kind yeah, of a this big... would be like a great for like a. We built a mobile command center one time in in one of our buses for, uh, or not one of our buses, but in a bus for a fire department. They yeah. basically deploy their their pilots and they f extinguish fires out in forests and they send the bus out there and the pilots sleep on the bus and 
we ended up building a whole setup just like this in that bus for them for the same purpose. So nice. Um, it can be transformed into really anything, a mobile office, or you could have seats all along here if you have and computers everywhere and another station over here. This, this whole area is actually really big. Like, you know, I'd say it's probably like 15, 20 feet or so. It's, I would say it's probably close to like 15, yeah, 20 pretty, feet pretty far back from there. like where I'm standing to where. So you could, you could do a lot to this. This whole bedroom could be really converted quickly. Um, now, one of the unique things about this is it's got the sound room here. So this is almost kind of set up like a huge closet right now. Yeah. But what are some other things that that could be converted to? Um, you could do a secondary bathroom. So if you ended up wanting to have your own toilet back here with a sink, we could add that in. Um, that's obviously you'd want to probably cover up the, the window, but uh, <laughs> unless, unless that's your thing. But um, yeah, that, this would be perfect for a secondary bath bathroom, especially if you had a master back bedroom right here. Yeah, it's really, really cool. And I like this L-shaped couch and I want to see how that all converts. That's going to be, yeah, all this. So it's got all this equipment in it right now with, now, does this equipment usually just stay in this bus? Yeah, it stays with the bus. Uh -huh. Wow. wow. Um, so how many miles are on this coach? I believe there's about 650,000 miles on it. And it's been fully gone through uh, by our mechanics here. Myself, personally, it's been up on the lifts. You know, we've had it for probably four or five years at this point. So this bus was just getting ready to get on tour before all this craziness happened. What have you done to prepare it to get to the level where it's ready, where it's roadworthy. Oh, well, we're gonna have to bring it back into the shop right before it goes back out on tour, you know, at least a couple of weeks beforehand and, and do a full DOT inspection on it just to make sure that everything's in order and whatever we find, we're gonna have to replace. Like we don't send a coach out without um, physically seeing it ourselves. Now you weren't, you weren't really planning on selling this coach, but everything is for sale for the right number. Yeah, that's correct. And this gentleman- You is... twisted my arm. Yeah, yeah, so said, I think that coach will work. Yeah, so this gentleman's looking for a coach like this, and I've had a hard time finding places where you can buy these entertainer coaches. What would you be willing to let this coach go for uh, if someone was a serious buyer? Um, probably in the 175 range, just because of the amount of, uh, you know, work we've done to it. I have all the maintenance records on it and everything, and it's got all up the updated 365 rims on it, you know, the new rims, the new tires on it. Um, it's got bus air. It has obviously all brand new ultra leather in here, all new LEDs. Like it's pretty much a 2020 bus. That's just riding out the storm until the touring season starts. Yeah, no, absolutely. And we left the air conditioning off inside of here because it makes it really noisy and hard to get good sound on these videos. So Kyle and I are, are sacrificing. A uh, being, yeah, <laughs> we're sweating in this 110 degree heat here. Uh, but the thing I have to say I really like about this coach is the exterior, the silver, the simple XL2. Really a, a non EGR, like I think it's a 2001 actually. It's an 01. So this oh, is a 2001 yeah. uh, non EGR, non DEF, all That's that correct. good yeah. stuff. And we updated the front end on it so it has the front front uh, headlights, all LED headlighting on the fronts uh, and down all the sides and the backs, tail, tail light kits that we put on. Nice. So. Nice. Yeah, I love the silver. I love the different floor plan. Really a lot of potential with this bus. I forgot you updated what? The EVAP. Condenser core, sorry. Oh, so you did the fan? Yeah, we the... updated the whole condenser bay. Which so this is... has bus air? Yeah, this nice. has bus air, which is awesome. It's ice cold. Nice. That, this, I think we talked about, was like a twelve or $15,000 upgrade right there. Yeah, Kyle and I did another video uh, titled $83,000 in Prevo repairs. And that was one of the big updates yeah, yeah. that you can do. And, and uh, Kyle talked about on that. So um, lot, this, this, bus is, this bus is dialed in. So. Uh, Someone looking for for a coach. This uh, this may be a good way to get into a real really cool coach that's been updated. If someone's a serious buyer, how can they get a hold of you? What's your email address? Uh, Kyle at bordercoachleasing.com. B o r d u r. There you are. Boom. That's it. So, <laughs> hey, Kyle, cannot thank you enough for taking the time. Kyle's phone's been ringing like freaking crazy. So. 
This is a very busy man. I greatly appreciate you taking the time to show us this Prevo tour bus that you are willing to sell. Appreciate all of you watching today's video. Appreciate all of you that are subscribing. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thanks.